or you want me to like talk about it, but all right, I, I know what I need to say. Right. I mean, there's one big issue here. It's the weight. So that's what I'm going to talk about anyway. You mean in turn? You mean on the tail of the tape? I don't do the tail of the tape that way. I'm just going to say, how, here's how they match up on paper. After I do. All right, so tailor the tape without the number. Okay, count me in. <coughs> All right, you see how the former world champion Al Cole matches up with Joe Lenhart and Everything else is irrelevant here. 83 pound weight advantage for Joe Lenhart. If he leans on Al Cole, Al Cole has a bad back. Anything could happen. And we take a look at the former cruiserweight champion of the world. Has had his ups and downs, though, at heavyweight. Certainly not the success that he had was a cruiserweight when he won that world title from James Waring way back in 1992. So it's been a long road. There's big Joe Lenhart coming in tonight, 315 pounds. Can he use that weight advantage over Cole? We're going to find out more about these pugilists. Up to our ring announcer, Bob Principi. Now let's go time for our first bout of the evening. First, fighting out of the red corner from Cleveland, Ohio. He brings a record of 11, 18, and 3. Four victories by way of knockout. Weighting at 315 pounds and is wearing black trunks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Lenhart. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, weighing in at 232 pounds. He has a record of 33, 11, and 3, and 16 victories by way of knockout. From Spring Valley, New York, ladies and gentlemen, former IBF cruiserweight champion, Al Cole. He fought better than him, way better. The referee, Lord Hudson, Justin Greenside, Bert Clements, Dwayne Ford, and Patricia Jarman Manning. Gentlemen. All right, your trunks are a little high, so anything below here is going to be low. All right, Ace? There you go. You received your instructions in the dressing room. At this time, are there any questions? Remember, protect yourselves at all times. Touch me. Well, Wayne. Wayne. Wayne, I'd be remiss here if I didn't say that it's like Lenhart's got an extra bantam weight with him. It's like 83 pound weight advantage. It's like if you in your weight class, that's like fighting two guys. It's almost three of me. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big man. He's, you know, he's six foot five, so he's even taller than Al Cole, which is surprising to me. And he carries the weight pretty well. Not a great chin on Lenhart. He's been stopped six times, but not great punching power at heavyweight by Al Cole. Since he's moved up to heavyweight, he's really only stopped two fighters, Mike Dixon and Derek Roddy. Yeah, he's been in all the big fights in the heavyweights. He's fought everybody. But as you say, he hasn't got the win. And at 39 years old, he needs to go up there and improve some and maybe stop this guy. Cole, of course, stopped three times at heavyweight. Most recently by the former cruiserweight champion as well, Juan Carlos Gomez, who moved up to heavyweight, stopping Cole in five rounds. Also got stopped by Corey Sanders. That's the South African version. And by Michael Grant. Good uppercuts on the inside right now by Cole. Already has Lenhart backing up. That's what he needs to do. Throw that stiff long jab out. Throw the right hand behind it. And he threw a good left uppercut as well. And that really hurt Lenhart. Cole overall, 16 knockouts in his 33 wins as we mentioned 14 of the 16 coming a cruiserweight would be a nice notch on his gun belt though if he could stop Lenhard here you would think that's something he needs to do Lenhard's been stopped six times 
to show that he's even competitive still at heavyweight, Cole would need to put somebody like this out, wouldn't you say? He would definitely, you know, Cole, he's doing the right thing at the minute, he's, he's staying on the outside, flicking the jab out, then throwing good body shots, and then Hart is being smart as well, he's leaning on Cole, trying to wear him down and tear him out. And oh, right. Where Cole rocked a little bit there by that little left hook that Lenhart slipped in there. Also was bothered by that punch to his back. Al Cole has a very bad back. Has a lot of problems with it in his fights. And as the fights wear on, he tends, you can see him slouching over. And it's been a big problem for him going to chiropractors for years. Break. Let's go. A little under a minute to go now here in the first round. This is scheduled for six. And as you said, with a bad back, with a big guy like Lenhart leaning on you, it's definitely not going to help. Cole does have a reach advantage, so he could stay on the outside, make this a real easy fight, just get a nice, easy six rounds in, and batter Lenhardt all night. I got to wonder if those body shots don't <laughs> reason being felt by him. It seemed like he was letting him hit him there. He held his hands up and he just said, go ahead, hit me. That's good work to the body by Cole. But Lenhardt doesn't seem to be phased by it. It's almost like you lose Al's hand in there for a couple <laughs> of seconds when it comes back out. A good crisp first round there, and a nice body shot to finish the first by Lenhart. Almost on cue when he heard the bell. Taking a look in the corner there with Al Cole, right. another jab, jab, world jab, champion up, sitting jab, in there with him, of course, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. Great fighter. That's all fast hands. Keep, no, keep the jab going. Stop backing up. Here we go. Right down. Let's go. Well, as we start round number two, little mini drama going on here. Al Cole said he hurt his right hand in that round. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad didn't want to hear anything about it, though, Wayne. He just said, hey, just give me jabs and stop backing up. Don't back up. That's the name of the game here. Stick that double jab out and throw that double left hook to the body. But as you say, Lenhart, that doesn't seem to phase on him. He just keeps coming forward and you know, keeps his hands up. And he's boxing pretty well. He's in the jab of his own. And right now, we're going to see if Al Cole is, in fact, just a one-handed fighter. Go around, go around. He said he hurt that right hand. Right back, We've yet right to see back. him throw it here in round two. This is scheduled for six. You see him trying to hook off that jab to try to get a power punch going. And it could be tough to put Lenhart out of here if he doesn't have a right hand, right? But he hasn't got two hands. He's, it's going to be hard, a hard six round. It's going to be difficult. Because you know, a big guy that gets lean on, on that one hand, it will be hard. Why are you waiting? That's a good jab and number cut inside from Cole. Sort of threw a half right hand there. There you go. Do it again. Do it again. Lenhart getting something off on the inside. Head's getting a little sloppy in there, too. And Cole threw one right hand there, but it didn't land. But there wasn't much on it. He just sort of set it in. This is a fight Cole doesn't want. He wants to move him out, stand the outside, stick that jab out. Double the jab, triple the jab. That's good. And now he's letting the right hand go a little bit, so maybe you've been in that situation before where you think you hurt your hand in a fight and maybe it takes 30 seconds, maybe it takes two or three minutes and the feeling comes back a little better? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, you've got, you know, if you hurt your hand on a fight and you think it's broke even, you've got t 10, 12 rounds of the championship fight, you go, gotta go out there and keep firing it because afterwards you can rest. It's coming together again on the inside. No reason for Cole to be fighting that close. He's got the reach advantage. And again, you don't want Lenhard with that 83 extra pounds leaning all over you, but yet Cole's on the inside. No way you don't because that's good work there. That's, that's what he wants to do. Get to the body, work to the head, and then step back out and stick the double jab out. See, I think Cole's going to the body because if in fact that hand hurts, it's gonna hurt him a lot less throwing it to the body than to the head, correct? Definitely would. That's a big belly to hit. <laughs> Easy target as well. 
But Leonhardt's staying in there, you know. He's, he seems to be turning a little bit, but he's, he's still there. He's, he's fighting the fight he wants to fight, and he's let, not letting let Al Cole do what he wants to do. Well, Leonhardt's certainly not getting tired from leg work, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, I don't, he's not moving a whole lot. He's saying, what's leg, leg work? What is that? Yeah. He can't spell leg work. Good job from Cole. That's what, uh, sent his head right by. End of round two. Cole seems to be weathering the storm if that hand's hurt at all. Good round, good round. Don't wrestle with him. Keep going around and dig the left hook to the body. That's all you got to do. Give me some water, champ. No? Deep breath, deep breath. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Just like you're doing. Be holding it. That's okay. Go around, go around. Let it go. Okay. Like that ball. Round number three, scheduled for six. The former Cruiserweight champion of the world, Al Cole. He's in the black with the yellow trim. Solid black shorts. Joe Lenhart, nobody been on the floor thus far. Cole complaining of a hurt right hand. And we were listening in, Wayne, between rounds. And apparently, Lenhart's corner knows about it. They may know about it from listening to us talk about it. They probably do. Talking a bit too loud. <laughs> Eddie Mustafa told Cole to go out there and double the jab and hit the soft spot of the body, which is actually the solar plexus. So. If he lands that straight right underneath, just underneath the ribs, it might work. Also, as we said, if that right's a little sore right now, it's not going to feel so bad hitting the belly of Lenhart as it is the head of Lenhart. But he doesn't need to dance in the middle of the ring like that. If Lenhart knows that Al Cole's right hand sore, it'll be interesting to see what he's going to do about it. Because so far he's doing nothing. Al Cole been around a long time. Pro career started back in March of 89. Stopping Lorenzo Thomas in three rounds. Cole, of course, was an alternate on the 88 Olympic team over in Seoul. Didn't get to participate, though. Went on to win the Cruiserweight world title from then champion James Waring in July of 92 with a unanimous 12-round decision. That was a good right hand from Cole. Yeah. He sent down hard back with that punch. The first time I see him fall back. He's using his feet work now. That's for sure to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Leonard holding on again, trying to use that 83 pounds. Cole never lost the cruiserweight title in the ring, moved up to heavyweight, looking for those bigger paydays. And unfortunately has not had major success there. Good double left hook, one to the head, one to the body by Cole. But Leonard just stood there, kept his hands up and took them. Perhaps the best performance at heavyweight that Cole had was a draw against Kirk Johnson back in December of 98, led to a rematch where he lost a unanimous decision. But times have been tough for him at heavyweight. His last fight, though, beat David Eisen in eight rounds in March of this year. Well, that was a good win for him, but as you say, most of the fights he's been giving too much weight away, or the guys are, well, he's a big guy, he's tall, but physically, in the body, he he's not as big as the, the heavyweights. He doesn't have heavyweight legs either. No, he doesn't. He's tall. He's really, a, he is a tall guy. For a cruiserweight, he must have been huge. You know, I remember when he fought, and he was, he was a big, skinny, tall guy. And a tremendous cruiserweight. He had an annuity going there. He would just defend that title every three months, put a six-figure check in the bank, and yeah. then go home. He was a champion who stayed busy. Well, we got three in the bank right now, and Cole having his way with Lenhart. You see Cole coming forward with the jab, double jab. 
but I think it was straight into the body. That's exactly what the trainer told him to do in the corner before the start of the round. So that was good work. And it sent Leonard, Leonard back for the first time. That was a kidney punch there by Leonard. There's a right hand that sent him back for the first time. Pound him to the body with the right hand. And then come over the top with it. All right? And I'm telling you, the left hook was there. Oh. Just stick with what you're doing. One more round. Stick with that right hand. Second half of a scheduled six rounder. Cole and Lenhart touch gloves in the middle of the ring. Nice little low blow drops in there by Al Cole to start the second half of this fight. And you were mentioning between rounds, Wayne, that, that Cole was doing exactly what his trainer did. And it's so nice to see that every once in a while, because most of the times you hear the trainers between rounds telling the fighters what they want, and then the fighter goes out and does something totally different. That happens a lot. But Al Cole went out there and he did exactly what Eddie Mustafa told him. And it worked. It sent him back, as I say, for the first time. And this run, he, he doesn't want to get into a fight with Lenardi. He just wants to stand the outside, stick that jab, and, and move. Well, Lenhart's a pretty good survivor. He went six rounds with David DeFiabon in his last fight of April of this year. And he's a good fighter. He's a good up and coming heavyweight. Very good. And, you know, you go to distance with him, there's a pretty good chance you're going to sit in there and go to distance with Al Cole. Because to a certain degree, DeFiabon's a blown up cruiserweight as well. He is. He is. But Lenhart just got hit there with two hooks and he, he laughed. <laughs> he just smiled back at Al Cole. That's what he needs to do, stick the jab out, Al Cole needs with a red hook. Not much I, power on it. And I notice right now he's he's only throwing one jab at a time, and that's not gonna get the job done. He really needs to double, wouldn't you say, Wayne? Yeah, one jab to knock the head back, the other one to set the right hand up. That was good, good double left hook to the body, but nothing behind it. He wants to stay out of the, this here, clinging around. He wants to step the outside, because the weight advantage is going to Leonard. So is the punch volume at this point. He's holding and hitting with the other hand. I'd get in the way with it. The smarty referee was on the other side. He just hit him with the, with the other hand. Good. Nice body shot by Lenard. Lenard having a good second half of the fourth round here. Body attack by Cole looking impressive, but doesn't really seem to be doing any damage. When Cole hits Lenard to the body, it's like chopping down a big tree. It just, it's not falling over. I think Cole wants him to fall over. Short uppercut inside by Cole. But the inside fight's being won by Lenhart. It at is. least this round. Oh, yeah, definitely is. He's hitting that right hand on the Cole's body every time when he's in close. And he's not letting Cole get to the outside. Nice right hand by Cole. No evidence there that that, that hand hurts. Good counter right by. Well, woke up Lenhart anyway. The counter right <laughs> didn't land. He's just chipping away at him. That's who it is, Al Cole. And Lenhart's just, he's taking everything. And he's still, he's still coming forward. That's what he does. But nevertheless, better fourth round here for Joe Lenhart. At least winning the inside battle, if not the round. Try to steal it now. Is it no. you? He's left talking on you. He left talking on you. He left away. When he's left talking on you, you left talking on him. If he's hitting you with left hooks, he's close enough for you to land a fucking left hook. Let's go. Let's go. Right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Work hard. It's the fifth yeah, round. Go. It's the fifth round, Joe. You gotta win a round. Round number five, and I got the impression from Lenhart's corner that they wanted him to throw left hooks. Now, why do I get that impression? I don't know why, but Al Cole was told in his corner this. Throw comedies into the body and then come back with a left hook. So let's see if he does it. Al Cole really coming out here aggressive here in the fifth round. 
Good work by Cole. Lenhart just looking at him, not firing anything back at this point. Taking everything and coming back again. Lenhart's sort of in survival mode at this point, Wayne. I think we got to be honest about that. He is. He's, he's slowed down a lot, and he's, as I say, he hasn't been moving much anyway, so he's, he's really tired. We're coming to you tonight from the Reno Hilton on the explosion. Arnie Rosenthal along with Wayne McCulloch. Got two former world, actually three former world champions. One sitting next to me, one in Al Cole's corner, and one in the ring, being Al Cole himself. <laughs> Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, of course, Cole's trainer, former light heavyweight champion. Wayne, former bantamweight champion of the world. That was a good combination by Cole. He threw a one-two to the head, then left underneath the ribs. But Lenhart kept marching forward again. He's not throwing much back himself this round. That's a good left hook underneath. Hit again the solar plexus there. At this He'll point, though, if you're, if you're Cole, at this point, Wayne, and you've been in fights like this where a guy's just not going away, you, you say, okay, oh, yeah. I'm just going to stick and move for the rest of this fight because this guy, why, why waste my hands on him? Or yeah. do you try to come up with a strategy to put him out? Cole's winning the fight, you know, so he needs to... Use that job. He's, he's using his feet work a lot better this round, staying out of trouble, not getting in too, too many clinches. No, he does need to stop this guy. This is a, a durable guy. Then Hart will be, maybe be there at the, for six rounds. And Cole needs to think about that. And, and if he's got a bad right hand, just use the left hand. Under a minute to go here in the fifth. And as we said earlier, Lenhart has been stopped six times. So it's not like he can't be stopped. Lehman Brewster stopped him in three rounds, but again, a much bigger heavyweight than Al Cole, certainly a, a, a bulkier one than Al. He doesn't necessarily weigh more. The bigger guys have stopped him. If Al had his right hand, if it, if it really hurt, he maybe he could, could stop him because he's but had him good clean shots. Andre Perlet stopped him. And, you know, Perlet is a, oh, is yeah. a cruiserweight that just recently moved into the heavyweight division. So, again, Cole, though, in his career, 16 knockouts in his 33 wins, below 500 in the knockout category and of course at heavyweight only two knockouts. The wild knows he's not a big puncher. He can hit hard enough. And this run he's really getting Lenhart a real going over. Well Lenhart's gonna at least be able to come out for the sixth and final round. Great round for Cole. Just keep trying to land Okay, you see Cole tr trying to come forward again. Good right hand, it was a clean shot. Come back with a little left, not much on it, but enough to send Lenhardt back on his, his back feet again. But you see Lenhardt just keeping the hands up, trying to block the shot, double left hook, one to the head, one to the body. Good work. Here we see it again. There's a good right hand, almost to the temple, left hook to the temple as well. But Lenhardt came back with a jab. Well. Cole may be economical right now with that right hand, but he it's certainly, it's when he throws it, he's not throwing it like it's hurt. No, he's not. He's, he's setting it out there. Maybe not as much as he could, but he's throwing it hard enough. Okay, here we go. Last round. Give me a good one. Now, he's going to try to steal it. Go. This is the last round. Sixth and final round. Al Cole, black and yellow. Joe Lenhart in solid black. Nobody's been on the floor in this fight, and I got to tell you, at this point, Wayne, I've got it 50 to 45, a shutout, five rounds to zip for Al Cole. I really couldn't give Lenhart any round. I gave him maybe half of round four. Yeah, yeah that's round four. He did a good, he did good body work in close. What he's trying to do right now, and Al Cole has took control of the fight every round, with, with the jab and with the left hooks to the body. Cole's certainly not fighting here in the sixth. He takes a big body shot from Lenhart. Not fighting here in the sixth like he's got a shutout. He's going out here like to either try and stop him or feels like, gee, maybe somebody gave Lenhart a couple of rounds and I need this round to pull the fight out. Well, you heard Eddie Mustafa in the corner. He said he's going to try and steal the round, so don't let him do it. There's a good right hand, the body on the left of the head. He seems to hurt him, but he's Lenhart just, he doesn't move. Well. Eddie Mustafa has been on the wrong side of a few decisions in his pro career, so he doesn't leave anything to chance anymore. One of the best referees in the The judge don't leave it in the judges' hands at all. But this fight, Al Cole's winning the fight. He, he just needs to finish the finish the run. He 
He doesn't want to stay in close. He's just staying the outside. Leonard is definitely, he's had nothing left. He's just tired. Staying in there. Wow, he's carrying that 300, <laughs> that extra 83 pounds around. 315 pounds in here tonight. I wonder how much weight he lost in the ring tonight. <laughs> he's got a lot to burn off. But he didn't, like we said, he didn't move that much. He may not have lost a whole lot. No, you're right. Cole might have lost more. He could double jab and save by Cole. Cole's hand speed, though, is so superior, it's not even funny. You saw Lenhart try to put in that, that left hook. Under a minute to go in the fight. Good one, two, three com punch combination by Al Cole. Well, the hand speed is what's kept Cole competitive as a heavyweight. He hasn't had the heavyweight punch, but when he's been in with some of the bigger names, he does have good hand speed left over, of course, from his cruiserweight days. Good hand speed, and he's got good, good guts as well, a big heart. And, and speaking about a big heart, out of no place here near the end of the fight, there was a good, fast four-punch combination by Lenhart. You wonder where that was the first five rounds. Saved it all for the end. <laughs> Little too late. Good job again by Cole. Lenhart, fair play to him, he stayed in there. Well, Lenhart's gonna survive. And Al Cole certainly not gonna get his 17th career knockout, but he will get his 34th career win. The fighters embrace in the middle of the ring. And a good six round workout for the former Cruiserweight champion and a Gutsy performance on the part of Len Hart nice surviving there. Eddie, nice job. Man. But I've got to wonder when I've ever I've seen this, and this I've seen this time and time again. Nice when you fight. see a 300 pound heavyweight like Len Hart come in, there, the body attack is a waste of time. Definitely, it's like hitting an inflatable doll. Or it really <laughs> doesn't bother them. It, it, there's such a cushion there that it, the punches just don't bother them. Al Cole hit him to the body every round, precise shots, left hooks, right hands, didn't move. Him meant nothing. But then again, Cole complained early on between round one and two that he hurt his right hand. Uh, used it later on in the fight, but again, as we mentioned, he used it economically. But Lenhart stayed in there. He's got, he's got big heart for a big guy. You know, he's, he did six good rounds. Hence the name, Lenhart. <laughs> but we got the official numbers now from our ring announcer, Bob Principi. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the decision. Judge Bert Clements judges about 59-55. Judge Dwayne Ford judges about 60-54. And Judge Patricia Manning judges about 60-54. The winner out of the blue corner, Al Ice Cole. All right. Well, Joe Lenhart using his 315 pounds to bring Al Cole up into the air.